Hello my friends, Yossi here. Today a very quick video and I'm going to tell you about what the hell is going on in Toronto's market. Prices are going up crazy. The acceleration of price increase is just astonishing. It's hard to believe. But you know, there's, there's, um, let's go over what's going on here and what you can expect and what is the best strategy for you as an investor, as an owner or as a renter uh, to survive this mess. Okay, so here we go. Let's head to my Twitter page. Um, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan where I post uh, a lot of little things including information about what's going on things that will help you understand the market so there you go you have it even you can see my Twitter followers here but the most important thing is I've seen the Global Mail last night there's a there's a story by Caroline Ireland and what she's saying she's saying Toronto condos buyers go all in now if you're not a Global Mail member you can't see the article but it doesn't really matter because the title says it all and what it means, it means that prices are increasing so quickly that people are going to buy uh, homes um, or condos, properties, are just going for it. Uh, there was like a huge you know, pushback, from, especially from people who are from Toronto, who are from Ontario, born and raised here. It's just hard to believe how prices are going up so quickly. It's, it's crazy, even for me, not coming from here, but I've been here long enough to consider myself as someone from here and seeing the city develop and growing into a megalopolis, like I like to call it, is astonishing. But you know, it, everything changes, the society changes, the prices change, the food that you eat change, where you live change, how you do things change. So, you know, that's what it's all about. It's about adopting to change, seeing where it's gonna come and then, and then going for it. So this is what's happening, okay? Uh, let's head over to urbanrealtytoronto.com. That's my website where I post um, new construction deals, pre-construction assignments, anything that is really important for investors goes in here, okay? Um, when you go all the way in and you can see all the stories, the hot stories are right here, but I'm gonna skip that for now. I'm just gonna go all the way to the bottom here and show you the, the footer, uh, where I got the footer widgets. And if you look at the listings here, this takes you directly to listings, okay? This, this is automated. So, you know, I'm really hot about the junction. Let's go see what's happening in the junction now. Just click here. And this will give you the resale availability of condos uh, in the junction. Okay, this is sorted by latest listing. You can go to the highest price. And there's a 2.9, uh, two bedroom, two bathroom, 2,000 square feet in the junction in the church. That's well over $1,000 a foot, right? That's 13 to 1,500. Uh, and you can see that trend continuing here. This is the junction. This is not King West, okay? So that's, that's the thing. Everywhere across the board, Toronto has a, such a massive shortage of housing, plus immigration policy, plus uh, people need to put their money somewhere, plus they're looking for a hedge, plus we know the inflation is coming and interest rates are creeping. So people are buying now because tomorrow your money will be worth a lot less. And if you can still grab something, whether it's a $400,000 condo, you know, let's look at the lowest price here. Uh, there you go. If if you can, there's nothing under four four twenty five, okay. So if you can find anything like that, I'm gonna pop into King West here. Um, you should seriously consider buying it. You should give me a call and ask me what the hell is going on, okay? There's the Thompson one point six five million. So that's a thousand a foot. That's a that's cheap deal, my friends. That's just good good money. Uh, Forty five Richmond a six hundred. That's over a thousand a foot. Uh, there's another Thompson, the new Thompson, the residence is a penthouse for 1.25. That's still a good deal, okay? Because I think that thing is going to go crazy. Let's look at the highest prices here at King West. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to skip this one. Been on the market for a long time. It's a unique uh, place. Here's another one. It's 468 Wellington at 6.7. So there we have two units here at the 7 million range downtown. That's, that's just crazy. Like, we never heard about these things. You know, it was... The Trump Tower, and now it's called St. Regis, and it was the Shangri-La and all that, but now it's everywhere, okay? 508 Wellington, just a simple little building. It's uh, $3 million. This thing was, was selling for 500 bucks a foot when they, when they released it, and it wasn't that long ago. So you see what's going on. There's, uh, so there's a lot of Thompson here, some larger buildings, and then, and then there's the fashion house starting here, and on and on we go, right? Lots of pages. Um, junction I've seen. I want to show you what's going on in the Global Mail. This is today's page. Now when you go to the main page, not much, but if we go to the business section, it tells you a lot and you don't have to have a membership here. Save you money. Um, everything's free online, but look here. 
Rob Carrick writes, renting an apartment in Toronto is a high-rise hell. And, and he goes and he quotes Vice out of all places. This Global Mail journalist quoting Vice, saying that it costs, uh, saying that it costs, what does it say? 2200 okay? And the one bedroom, that's one apartment, and a one bedroom is 2385 Now, remember, a one bedroom downtown is 500 square feet. So that's four and a half dollars a foot of rent. Now, considering to buy this condo will cost you at least a thousand a foot if you can find it, twelve hundred to fifteen hundred right now. You know that's what's happening. So as the prices are, are are increasing, so do the rents. Okay, and that's why he calls it high rise hell. He also needs to get some uh, eyes view in there to keep his job. So Toronto Real Estate Board. If we go here, and then that's a lovely site. Uh, let's go to the market uh, watch here market watch right here and he basically tells you uh, on the 5th of November a couple of days ago they tell you what's going on and you know there's no crazy news here but the craziness is that prices are going up like crazy so open the market watch PDF for October 2018 and you can see October 2018 has uh, 7500 sales so 500 more sales than last year which is good also don't forget there are about 20,000 more units added to the collective so there will be some more sales so you know more sales but there's also more units the other thing i want you to see here is that the mls average price for toronto is 807 average but if we look down here and we look at the 416 condo apartment is selling for six hundred and three thousand dollars this is in all the 416 okay so the average uh <clears throat> the average for c1 for down here will be a lot higher and, and you can you can drill down here and see all the numbers i'm not going to do it right now <clears throat> so, but the point is, you got to understand what's going on. Condo apartment in the 416 has increased by 8.6%. This is the bottom of page one. 8.6% this year, and then 519 by, 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 by 905 by 519. So the average is 7.5%. 7, but this is for the entire GTA. Okay. If you look at the 416 and drill down even to King West or Yorkville or Queen West, you'll see the appreciation is 15 to 25 percent okay so if you are thinking of buying a condo downtown you should do it today because tomorrow it's going to be more and more and more and more it's unstoppable you have to understand that it is in the interest of the government to collect as much taxes as they can and when prices goes up they make more money the government our government's making more money by collecting more taxes they don't have to do anything you know they charge the same one percent but the price of the condo increases and increases and increases that 1% gets fatter and fatter and fatter. And, and within that 1%, there's a small little increase every year as well. Okay, so this is it for today. I want you to go here to urbanrealtytoronto.com. Uh, look at what's available for sale. Sign into the newsletter. Okay, there's a newsletter link on the contact. Or you can sign at the bottom because I send one or two emails a week explaining what's going on, showing you the new video. They're very short email emails um, but they will give you the information you need to know okay and if you need to see what's for sale now just go to listing updated 24 7 and hit yorkville and it'll take you right to the page of where yorkville is let, let it load and there you go and the latest listing and if i go just for fun for the highest price let's see what's uh, expensive in yorkville today and i think we'll see some surprise there okay so here we go 13 million nine hundred for 50 Yorkville, 10 million for 175 Cumberland, 9 million for 118 Yorkville. So you go, oh, this is only Yorkville. No, it is not. This thing is happening everywhere, my friends, everywhere. And because it's happening everywhere, it's going to happen in your neighborhood, wherever you live. So get on it, do some research, see what you can do, and let's go. Okay? Highest price in Toronto today, asking 20, this is a condo only. 28,750,155 Cumberland, Yorkville, um, Bloor. Okay? So, I'll leave you with this. Live long and prosper. You'll see out.